hey guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'll show you how you can create this trendy looking rgb text effect inside affinity photo now it's actually pretty simple let's create a new document go to file new and i'm gonna make it 2000 by 2000 click on create then what you're gonna do is download this texture i'll put the link in the description drag it inside affinity photo and put it in the center and just resize this like that and then we're going to go to filters noise add noise set this to around 20 percent and click on apply let's create our text so select the text tool and type in our text i'm going to type in solaris and I'm select this text set the font to around uh, let's go with 288 for now change the color to white and change the font to something else i'm gonna go with hanson and just put it in the center and we can just resize this like so then i'm going to duplicate this i can right click on this layer and click on duplicate and then right click on the selected layer transform flip vertical just bring it down like that and stretch it out all right now the next thing i want to do is grab another texture Again, the link will be in the description. Bring it inside Affinity Photo and just resize this. Scale it down and keep it somewhere over here. And then we're going to make sure that this image is only visible inside this bottom text. So basically, we are going to create a clipping mask. So I'm going to select this text and just drag it between the icon and the text so that we get this blue box over here. And when you once you get that you will have a preview of it on the left side as well so you get the clipping mask just release your mouse and you will have your clipping mask there i'm gonna make sure that this layer is under our main text and also rename this to i don't know maybe texture all right so the next thing i'm going to do is create a gradient map so i'm going to click on adjustments scroll down till you see gradient map and that's it close out of this and again i'm going to make sure that this gradient map is applied as a clipping mask select it and just move it in between and there you have it now this gradient map will be applied to your texture only all right now here is the fun part select your texture layer and select the smudge brush tool i'm going to increase the size i'm using the square bracket key you can also increase the size on the left top left side over here the slider you can control the size over here and uh, just smudge your text so i'm gonna start at the edges like so and you can just go full creative mode on this there is no rule over here so just create this melting looking thing so i'm gonna just zoom into this and make sure that it is connected with this text so something like that yeah i think that is looking absolutely fine now the next thing we are going to do is select our main text layer and do the same thing we just create the same dripping effect and we'll make it look as if it is falling off from our main white text okay something like that so yeah i think that looks absolutely fine i'm just going to leave it as it is uh, obviously you can take more time and be precise with this but i'm kind of satisfied with the result over here now what we are going to do is let's um let's take the brush tool i don't know if it if this will work so i'm just, what i'm going to do is oh let's create a new layer okay and um, now let's draw it on a new layer and just change the color to something else like so and just you know keep on changing the color pretty easy right so we just pick the colors and change them and see what we get all right so i think that's it so on this layer we select that and change the blending mode to soft light i don't know if that made much difference but it just added a bit of glow to our texture here all right so the next thing is we're going to use another texture 
again the link will be in the description just drag that in zoom out a little bit and i'm just going to scale it down like that and change its blending mode to multiply so if we zoom in this is how it will look get these kind of creases in your design and i think it looks uh, really nice we can add a, a new layer let's um, fill it in with a black color and go to filters noise add noise again set that to 20 percent and click on apply and change its blending mode to add so if we zoom in you will notice this grain texture in your overall design and you can further add more elements so let's select our text tool and type in something maybe like a tutorial and change its um, font style and the font size as well you know try to add a bit more elements to this and uh, make it look nice yeah so um, there you have it guys that's how you can create this melted text effect inside of an ed photo i hope this video was helpful if it was then please make sure you like the video and also subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one